Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com and in this English lesson, I'm going to go over 10 phrases or 10 things that you'll likely hear on Thanksgiving Day and on Black Friday. Thanksgiving is one of the most important holidays here in America and it is celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November. It's a holiday that you do your best to spend time with family, you have a nice dinner, and everything is, is peaceful. Black Friday, on the other hand, is all about shopping. And this is when most stores, or all stores, offer discounts and deals on certain items. And people go out and try to find the best deal on whatever they want to get. If you want to learn more about this holiday and Black Friday, I'll leave a link to Wikipedia in the description, but let's look at phrase number one. Imagine that you're in the kitchen and somebody takes the turkey out of the oven. You can say, that looks delicious. That looks delicious. What you're doing is using the word look to describe appearance. You could also say, that looks amazing. That looks awesome. We can talk about people's appearance too using this verb. For example, she looks tired. He looks happy. She looks like Katy Perry. He looks like George Clooney. Going back to food, let's say the Brussels sprouts come out and they're black because somebody left them in the oven too long. You can say they don't look very good. The second thing you'll probably hear on Thanksgiving Day is what time does the game start? What time does the game start? We're talking about American football here because there is always a game on Thanksgiving Day. I don't know too much about American football, but I know this is important on Thanksgiving. But do you notice the way I ask this question? What time does the game start? Now, which tense is that? It is the present simple. Because we use the present simple to talk about events in the future, something that is on a schedule. Again, I've made a lesson on this, I'll leave a link in the description. But you can ask the question, what time does the game start? Another question you might ask on Thanksgiving Day is, how long will this take? How long will this take? We're talking about food again, and what we're asking is, how long will this take to cook? So let's say you have a turkey, you know it should go in at a certain temperature. I don't know what that is, but you know the temperature, but you don't know how long it's going to take to cook. So you ask your friend, your family member, how long is this going to take to cook? We can use will or going to here. How long will this take? How long is this going to take? Another example of using the verb take in this case is it takes me 10 minutes to get to work. It takes me 10 minutes to get to work. Okay, now the turkey is in the oven, but you didn't set a timer. You didn't set a timer. And you take the turkey out. It doesn't look very good. And you say, oh no, I left the turkey in too long. I left the turkey in too long. We use this phrasal verb, leave in, for many different things. For example, don't leave that bottle of beer in the freezer too long. Don't leave that bottle of beer in the freezer too long. Otherwise, it might explode. Another example is, oh, I left my keys in the car. I left my keys in the car. Even though we left the turkey in the oven too long, it's still edible. But before we eat it, somebody usually asks the question, what are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? And this is a big part of Thanksgiving. It's to give thanks, to talk about what you are grateful for. And it doesn't always happen around the table in a formal way, but usually somebody talks about this. And I have been to Thanksgiving dinners before where everybody said what they were thankful for. It's a good time to ask you a question what are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? 
So after you have said what you are thankful for, you are sitting down at the table and you're eating turkey, but it's a little bit dry because you left it in the oven too long. So you want more gravy. And the way to ask somebody for the gravy is this. Could you pass me the gravy, please? Could you pass me the gravy, please? Sometimes people don't say please at the end, but they do say thank you once somebody passes the gravy to them. We can also exchange could for can and say this, can you pass me the gravy, please? I ask this question a lot because I love gravy. Okay, so you have your dinner, you have eaten too much, you go to bed, and then the next day is Black Friday. What you might hear is this, have you seen the line at Walmart? Or have you seen the line at Best Buy? Walmart and Best Buy are both popular shops to go to on Black Friday, because usually they have a lot of deals. And by asking that question, have you seen the line at Best Buy? What you're saying is, there are so many people lining up to get into Best Buy. In British English, we'll use the word queue here. Have you seen the queue at Best Buy? Or there are a lot of people queuing up. And I'm sure you've seen one of those videos where a shop opens its doors on Black Friday and people rush in to get the best deals. Speaking of getting best deals, I've mentioned this a couple of times. And you'll hear people say, I just got a great deal on this new TV. I just got a great deal on this new microwave. To get a good deal on something means that you get it for a good price. You get it on sale. And Americans will say, I just got a great deal. British people say, I've just got a great deal. I made a video on this difference, which you can watch. There's a link in the description. If somebody buys something that they regret, they will say, oh, I shouldn't have bought that. I shouldn't have bought that. Using shouldn't have in the past is a great way to express a regret. So what you're saying is, I didn't need that. I don't want this now. I shouldn't have bought that. There are many things that I regret buying. And I use this all the time. I shouldn't have bought that. But another example is this. Imagine that you say something that isn't very nice. You can say, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. For people who don't want to line up, who don't want to go outside, what they tend to do is they do their shopping online. So you'll hear them say, I'm doing all my shopping online this year. I'm doing all my shopping online this year. This has become more popular now. And there's a day, which is Cyber Monday, that focuses on online deals. But you'll find Black Friday also has lots of deals online too. So a lot of people prefer to do their shopping online. The last one is this. Imagine that I see my wife on her computer because she does her shopping online and she's buying something else. And I ask her the question, what are you buying now? What are you buying now? By adding now at the end of the question, it suggests that my wife has been buying a lot of things. And I'm surprised that she is buying something else, or maybe not surprised. So I ask her the question, what are you buying now? My dad used to say something similar to me, which was, what are you eating now? And this was usually on a Friday night when I used to watch wrestling and eat packets of crisps, yogurt, cereal, so much stuff. And when I went into the kitchen to get something else, he asked me the question, what are you eating now? Okay, so we have covered a lot in this lesson. And I have taught many of the phrases in different videos before. So be sure to check out the description or click on your screen to watch one of these videos. If you have enjoyed this, then please like and share it. Thank you for being here and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.